20,000 units across the United States is definitely encouraging seeing a vehicle. Any vehicle with 20,000 units in the US right now is definitely a thumbs up as far as trying to get the very best deal. Going to get a Grand Cherokee L may prove to be a success, especially if you study all the information in this negotiation guide. What I wanna do for you in this video is break down exactly what you can expect if you plan on purchasing or leasing a Grand Cherokee L. I'll break down inventory in the United States, compare it against its competition, and finally, I'll leave you off with some insurance premium estimates I think you should be able to get in your state. What is happening guys, Ari here from Boston Automotive Consulting, and by clicking here or the link in the description below, you'll be able to access a summary of tonight's negotiation guide on my blog, negotiationguides.com, where you'll also be able to connect with local area Jeep dealers to get the very best price on a Grand Cherokee L. If you're new here, please consider subscribing because this whole channel is gonna teach you everything you're gonna need to know so that you can negotiate your best possible deal. You guys, let's get down to business. Starting off with inventory, something that I was very, very surprised to see. 20,200 2021 Grand Cherokee L's on dealership lots. Now, is that completely accurate? It's not up to the minute. However, it's pretty accurate. Now, as far as its competition, what we're seeing from Ford is 9,434 Ford Explorers. 5,457 Honda Pilots, 3,285 Hyundai Palisades, 1,676 Kia Tellurides. I wanted to just use some of the more popular vehicles on the market just to give you a perspective as far as what inventory looks like at all the different mix. Now, as far as 4x4 models, we're seeing 17,443 and the rest being rear wheel drives at 2,690. Breaking it down trim by trim on the 4x4 models, we're seeing 11 158 Laredo's, 415 Altitudes, 12,668 Limiteds, 2,557 Overlands, 549 Summits. On the real wheel drives, we're seeing 214 Laredo's, 415 Altitudes, 2,188 Limiteds, 194 Overlands. I'm seeing this Grand Cherokee popping up all over Boston, and for the most part, I'm seeing it pop up as a limited. I did see the altitude on a couple dealerships' websites. I like it, but I think the classic limited look on the Grand Cherokee L is just working the best. I wanted to use that one for tonight's negotiation guide. Mine has an MSRP of $49,095. If you were able to get a good deal on a Grand Cherokee L, it would be anywhere between zero to 3% off of the MSRP. 3% off of the MSRP on a Sunday afternoon at the end of the month is completely possible. Out here in Boston at the beginning of the month when dealers just started their month, the sales manager's not even on duty, good luck. Targeting 3% off would land you at 47,620. There are no rebates except for either a returning lessee or a loyalty incentive or a conquest incentive if you've got a competitive vehicle. They are offering, however, a promotional APR at 2.83% for 60 months. Assuming that you were able to get either between 47,620 and 49,095 financing, 47,620 would land you at 878 a month, and that's assuming you're putting your taxes and fees up front. If you were planning on leasing, got some bad news. You're not going to see 350 and 400 like you're seeing on the previous Grand Cherokee that actually may not even be available right now. I know that they're selling out of Grand Cherokees, the previous generation at the moment, and I don't think that you'd be able to get anywhere close to the low 400s on those either. Now, I did break down the lease payment estimates for the other trims. You'll be able to see that by clicking here or the link in the description below. That'll take you on over to my blog where you can also connect with local dealers so that you can start the whole shopping process. As far as this limited though, assuming that you were able to get 3%, no lease cash, however, 
for the first time that I've seen it this high, 61% is our residual on the Grand Cherokee L at 36 and 10. A money factor to counterbalance that at 0.00143. Now plugging this all in into the lease calculator and assuming you're giving just your inception fees, do it start. So your first payment, acquisition fee, dock fee, registration, all that stuff, do it start roughly about 2050 bucks we'd be talking about 602 a month that's including sales tax and that's about $200 if i'm not mistaken <laughs> over what somebody could have got a limited for a few years ago and i get it it's a little bit different a limited maybe would probably be about 43, 44,000. This is a $49,000 MSRP. I really, really don't know when we're gonna start seeing fours and low fives on these Grand Cherokee L's. Who knows, maybe we won't, sorry. Now, as far as insurance, you guys, what I want you to try and shoot for out in Arizona is a yearly insurance premium of 1360, 1590 in California, 1950 in Florida, 1240 Illinois, 1320 in Massachusetts, 2625 Michigan, 1670 New York, 1195 Ohio, 1530 Pennsylvania, 1885 Texas, 1035 in Virginia. Super excited, like actually super excited for you if you're in the market. Let me know in the comments what color you want to get. If it was me, I'd probably take black. Links in the description below, as well as by clicking here, you'll be able to access the whole negotiation guide summary, review all the information, study it, reach out to a bunch of dealers. And if you found this information useful, please consider subscribing. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.